Hi, welcome back to our next tutorial in our From Sequences to Similarity series of tutorials. Now we will make some sequence alignments, some pairway sequence alignments, and we will visually represent them in dot plots. For this, we only need two sequences that we will compare to each other. But first of all, um, let's have a look at the algorithm that we will need to do the pairways alignment. So first of all, we will make the function fill matrix. In this function, we will take every nucleotide per sequence and we will compare them to the nucleotide of sequence 1, to the nucleotide of sequence 2, and when they are the same, when they match, we place a dot like this, and we say OK, they match, so we, we add 1 to our count. If they don't match, we put anything. And now we want to plot these dot plots. So we will make two separate kinds of dot plots, and every kind of dot plot needs another function, of course. First of all, we define the function fill print, where we will just print the dot plots as this dot or an empty space. The function fill plot is comparable to fill print, but here we will not print crosses or empty spaces, but we will print black and white spots. A black spot corresponds to a match, a white spot corresponds to a mismatch. So if we look at a small example. I just made two nucleotide sequences, and I say fill print, so we will align these two sequences. You see here GAGA, -G -A, that's this one, the vertical one, and TAC, this is the horizontal one. And we see here that all these crosses correspond to a match. Here's a cross, A, A, it's a match, A, A, it's a match, and so on. Also see, there are four bases aligned to each other, and the other 13 are not aligned. We can do the same. So these two sequences are the same. Fill plot will give this one. So you see, all the black spots are identical bases, matches. And if you want to say, okay, these are aligned bases, we mean that on the diagonal of this plot, there are some black pixels. And the number of black pixels in the diagonal is 4. The number of white spaces, white pixels, in the, in the alignment in this dot plot is 13. And now move to some real sequences. So here you have the code to extract some sequences from uh, NCBI GenBank. So which sequences do we choose? We first of all took a Belgium isolate of the SARS-CoV-2 virus and a strain from Chile. So we first of all open the file that we made with the sequence, we read the content of the sequence, and we say, okay, we only take 1000 nucleotides from the sequence. And this sequence one is from nucleotide 1000 to 1999. We do the same from, for Chile, and we have now sequence one and sequence two. We do now fill plot, and you see I have not set sequence 1 is this one, sequence 2 is this one, because when we take a look at fill plot function, let's have a look here, I already put sequence 1 and sequence 2 in. So if you just name the sequences that you want to compare as sequence 1 and sequence 2, the function will do the rest for you. And we see here a dot plot, a dot plot of those uh, two sequences that we have chosen, and you see here the aligned bases are 1000. So the 1000 string of nucleotides from the both sequences are the same. So we can do the same for protein sequences. So I used the code of tutorial 1 and I obtained two P53 protein sequences from human and from mouse. I did the same as before. I used the fill plot function and I get this dot plot. And so I want to finish with a kind of remark. Because you only touch upon the creation of this dot plot and you can do a lot with them. You can put some particular sequences against each other, and you can also reduce the noise of the plot. So I wish you a lot of success with this pairways alignment and these dot plots, and I wish to see you next time for our last tutorial where we will build a phylogenetic tree. See you soon!